A lot of people in here. A lot of people in the building. Let's get Nathaniel in here. Let's get Nathaniel in here to let us know <clears throat> from a suspected white supremacist perspective. Our good buddy Nathaniel. What's up, Nathaniel? Turn your microphone on, sir. And while we're waiting on Nathaniel, let's get John Hussein Kennedy in here while we're waiting on Nathaniel. John? What's up, John? John, can you take the Wish app headphones off, sir? This is really bad reception. And you're going to have to send them back to the Wish app, people. How, get your how, money back. Get how your about now? Off. They're much better. So you send right. those earphones All back. Right. Get the, get your five get your five dollars back. No, so what's on they, your mind? They're Dre beats, but I I go in the sauna and I, I they got too hot. Oh, okay. Those are not Dre beats, sir. Those are not Dre beats. Yes, they are. Yeah. It's the wrong Dre. All right. It's Andre Agassi. It's a tennis <laughs> player. It's not the doctor. I got, it's the, not Dr. I got the Italian beats. Right, yeah, that's not that shit was janky. So, what's on your mind, John? Um, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm about to hit the gym. I saw Tariq Nasheed was throwing a space up. I was like, "Yo, let's uh throw my uh, fist into the ring. Let's talk." Yes, indeed. So the the topic is, as you see, foundation of Black Americans built America. Now, do you agree or disagree with that statement, sir? I do. I do agree with that to to uh, a major extent, especially in the South. Right. Well, hell, not just the South. I mean, the the yes, south and, the north. And, the, and then and then the immigration up to the north and to Chicago and. Baltimore and all, all, all the major industrial cities. Okay, all right, all right, John. Thank, thank you so much. I don't know what John is talking about. John is just saying stuff. All right, let's get um, somebody. The fake Elon Musk, <laughs> the Elon Musk, Muskowitz, <laughs> Elon Muskowitz. Hop on, man. That's a hell of a name. Um, Thank you for letting me share, sir. There you go. Now, wh where are you from, brother? Why do you ask that? I'm not big on answering questions. Okay, then why'd you call? Well, I, I came to ask you, like, how much uh, European blood do you have in you? Well, uh, what part of Europe are you from, if you are from Europe? I, again, uh, you know, like, I, I did a DNA test. It, it, uh -huh. it said that I'm... It said that I'm mostly from the greater London area. Um, I don't know. Why, why does that matter? Uh, like, how much European blood do you have in you? Well, I'm still asking you a question. I'm still asking you a question, sir. Yeah, but you're not answering. You're not. You asked me why I'm coming up. Right. So I, so I gave you why I'm coming up. I asked okay. you why you don't have a bell pepper, greasy ass nose. You have a you have very European features and very soft features. So I just want that's to know how much, Europe, that's, how much European no, blood do you I, have? I have soft features because of your grandmother's breast milk on my face. And it has a smooth texture that smooths my skin out. But you, sir, where are you from? You don't talk, tell me that you don't answer questions, sir. This is not a meth lab. You don't call the shots. What part of... Um, no, no, this is, this is, no, it's no, no, not no, a no, meth no. lab. It's, it's your mother's crack no, no. house. Okay, yeah, that was that fell flat, just like your ass and your mama's ass, just like um, your wide, no, no. Just, just like your your mama's wide nose, nigga. Okay, boy, that that fell flat. And why are you trying to have a an ebonics dialect? Why are you trying to emulate so, foundational Black Americans? Do you I, sit I, at home? You're, you're, you're trying so, to emulate us. You're so trying to question, emulate us. Question. You're trying to you're when? trying to emulate us while talking trash while trying to emulate our dialect. You sound like a fat hillbilly. You sound real chunky and husky, sir. Now let's go at it. Let's get it popping. Now talk to me. 
Yeah, somebody said that you might you know you might not even be a real white supremacist. You might be an African dude. Are you really an African dude pretending to be a white supremacist? Talking about your your people from London. All right, he's not saying anything. All right. I didn't realize that was you muted me. So yes, go. sir. I'm I'm from Africa. I'm from uh, oh, where am I from? I'm from from Zimbabwe. Yeah, that's where I'm from. Come on, man. Yeah. You, you haven't fat. answered the question. How much? How yeah. much European yeah, you're, blood? You're, you're from you're from Fat Conda. All right. You don't ask me. I'm a foundational Black American, and you're trailer trash. So that's all we need to know. All right, let me get some. You're already boring. You're, you're, you're not, you're trolling and even creative. Um, Aromo, let me get you in here. Tyreek, how are you? I'm good, Aromo. How are you? How do you feel after talking to Eminem? Oh, my God. Yeah, he's a, he was a wannabe major. So what's going on, man? You're a Republican, right? I remember you calling before, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm Republican. You know, rather than Joe Biden, I just rather have Trump. Yeah, That's it, not even bad at it. Did you get the Trump sneakers? Are you walking around with the gold freedom sneakers or whatever he's calling them? Bro, the only sneaker I ever bought was Kobe, Kobe sneakers. Right. If I have one gym shoes, bro, why would I need another sneaker? Well, shit, you always got to stack up on your sneakers. So Nah, bro, I own about seven shoes, about a couple of dress-up shoes. About four work shoes, just about one running shoes, and Kobe's shoes for basketball. That's about it. There it is. Now, what's on your mind? What's on my mind is this. Uh, to my understanding, foundational black America is different from the slaves that came on the boat. No, where where did you get that from? Okay, it's the same because I, I I I hear some people say foundation of Black America is blacks that were here with the Native Americans before the whites that were here. Yeah, and then they mixed up with some of the slaves that were on the boats. You understand okay. that? Okay, it included both of them then. Right. Well, that's what All makes right. us foundational black Americans. We come from the black aboriginals that were here and yeah. we were mixed right. in. We were mixed in with some of the brothers and sisters who were brought over from Africa and enslaved. Yeah, that's good. They all that's got good. mixed in. Together. The black aboriginals and the black Africans all got mixed in together. And then we became, we had an ethnogenesis. We became foundational black Americans. For sure. For sure. I like it that way. I like that definition. Then the more they divide us, is it's, it's not good. So as a race, it should just be called, if you identify as black, that's the only thing that you put it. And you black, it shouldn't be awkward. But if you white and you identify as black, it's going to look awkward anyway. People are going to face that publicly. They're going to face that. But anybody that claims black, like if you black, you're going to get it. It's not going to be awkward. If it's awkward, you got to get out. Right. Thank you. You, you, you brother's kind of babbling, to be honest. All right, but thank you, brother. I had to land your plane. You just, you just kind of babbling. You sound like you drunk on injera juice. Um, shout out to him though. Um, Kano. Let's get Kano in here. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Nashi, uh, Tariq. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm from Baltimore. Uh, I was raised in Baltimore. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm an African. What part uh, of that? Africa? Africa. Uh, I'm from Kenya. Uh, Kenya. Unlike the unlike the gentleman who had to uh, kind of guess where he's from. I think he said Zimbabwe. I think he was kind of trying to figure out where he's from. But anyway, I'm from Kenya. Uh, 100. percent I'm African, uh, but I grew up in uh, Baltimore uh, all my life. I live in Delaware. And, um, it, it, you know, it, it's certain things that uh, I understand that uh, in our generation, I never could not believe that uh, in my lifetime, there's some fundamental things 
that 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 just crossed your mind. I never could. I, I I didn't think that we would ever have a black president, and it did happen in my lifetime. And let alone have a, a black vice president. Uh, th those are things that sometimes, because there's so many overwhelming issues, you think it's not possible. There's a uh, bear with me. Uh, I will not take too much of your time. Uh, I, I will try to uh, curtail it less than two minutes. Um, uh, there's a there's a wise man in Southern Africa. Uh, he was jailed for 27 years. He was a barrister, and I don't know whether you all know what a barrister is. He, he was he's a, a lawyer attorney, and when he got released from prison, uh, he went and became president of South Africa. I'm talking about Nelson Madiba Mandela. Uh, he got jailed by the apartheid because what he was fighting for was the black oppression. And when the people who used to piss on him, literally, uh, you, you know, used to be given like naked showers, they used to hose him down. Uh, the, the, those people who used to oppress him. Okay, I, I have to land your plane, brother. You, I, you just, this is not, you know, <laughs> this is not South Africa story time. All right, well, we know about Mandela. We know the story. We were very well aware of it. But thank you so much. I don't know where you were going. Um, it was taking a little bit too long. The route was taking too long. All right, we know the story of Mandela, brother. You're not telling us anything really new. <laughs> All right. You know, this nigga, you, you're about to tell a bedtime story now. It's, it's you know, you got to kind of get to the point here. Once upon a time, there was a nigga in jail. He was in jail for a long time. He fought apartheid. His name was Nelson Mandiba. He's saying the names all wrong and shit. <laughs> it's <laughs> Wilfred Mandela. All right, brother. All right. Okay. All right, brother. Let me land your plane. Get ready to ignite the spirit of Black History Month like never before. Join us at the Hidden History Museum in the heart of Los Angeles for an electrifying one-year anniversary celebration. Saturday, February 24th, 2024 at 7 p.m. Mark your calendars for an unforgettable evening. Experience our comedy show with a stellar lineup of the hottest new comedians. Hosted by Tariq Nasheed and Dwan B. But that's not all. Indulge in complimentary food and drinks and music that will keep you grooving all night long. This exclusive event is by RSVP only, so don't miss out on the celebration of a lifetime. Reserve your spot now by visiting HiddenHistoryMuseum.com for tickets. Let's honor and celebrate Black History Month in style. See you there!